Adam, tell me a little bit about how computing power requirements and form factors have sort of evolved in recent years. The demand for performance is, it's essentially infinite. There've been many times over the course of the computing business that people have wondered, do we finally have enough performance? And the answer is always no. And I think the reason for that is that the human desire to create, connect, be informed, be productive is insatiable. And there's a, a strong desire to make those experiences ever more natural, more immersive, more lifelike. Mm -hmm. And the computing power required to deliver that is orders of magnitude higher than what exists today. That's great. For us in the industry, there's there's a there's infinite demand, and that demand is is now taking um, the shape of different types of computing requirements too. Where it's no longer just about the CPU, but it's also about the graphics, and now with AI, it's about the neural processing unit as well right. to deliver all these uh, amazing new lifelike workloads. At the same time, people are not satisfied with their devices in terms of their battery life. They want ever thinner, quieter, cooler, uh, longer battery devices than what they're getting today. And, uh, and that demand shows no signs of slacking off either. So what really matters is just as much as raw performance is performance per watt. Nowadays, we have completely different form factors for the technology that we're using just in the consumer space than we did not even five, 10 years ago. I mean, now we have strange new phones that fold open and we have computers that work completely differently than we did when I was building PCs as a child. I think you're right. There's just all sorts of different screen sizes and form factors that are optimal for different uses. Mm -hmm. Uses everything from phones with foldable screens, tablets, PCs. And now we have yeah. MPUs built in and everything. <laughs> yeah. And then wearables are going to push the envelope even further in terms of you know, new form right. factors. Why is MediaTek well positioned in the computing space? Raw performance continues to matter, uh, and so does performance per watt, power efficiency. And MediaTek excels at performance per watt. It's one of the things that we're, that we're best at. So we're really great at delivering high performance, but in a very power efficient mm -hmm. device, which enables it to fit in a whole variety of form factors. Maybe our best example is what we're doing with our uh, our flagship SOCs for premium smartphones. We're shipping now, and we have been for almost a year, uh, a 50 tops NPU in a smartphone. Wow. Which is more than most PCs right now. Yeah, that's definitely a lot more than my home PC, that's for sure. Yeah, and we're also um, now delivering high performance as well as performance per watt. Mm -hmm. In fact, the flagship phone that I was just mentioning beats our competition in raw performance and performance per watt on all of the major compute engines on CPU, GPU, and NPU. Wow. We're really showing that we can deliver high performance computing as well as power efficiency. So what is MediaTek's roadmap for computing when it comes to performance and power? We're extending a lot of our capabilities into um, new, new devices or new for us, where you know the phone has been kind of the focus for the last few years, but we're bringing those capabilities into all sorts of devices, into tablets, where we're now the market share leader, Chromebooks, TVs, and, and a whole range of devices. Very cool.